So we talked to socialists. Uh, now I have to talk about neo-Nazis. <laughs> this story um, out of here in Massachusetts, uh, near Boston, is hilarious to me. Um, it's the story of New Balance. New Balance is an American-owned and manufactured tennis shoe company. They were against the TPP. They, uh, because it exposed them to even more competition, they're already going up against, I mean, let's just be fair, New Balance was never really in competition with Nike uh, stylistically, but they, are, they employ 1,400 people here in New England, right? They're American, homegrown, you know, they have jobs here. So the TPP exposed them to so, many, so much uh, to competition that they just simply can't compete with. Right. They cannot compete with the wages that they would get in Southeast Asia to build, put shoes together. They can't. So they've been against the TPP for a long time. They felt as though President Obama was not hearing them. And on, to that extent and to that extent only, um, I agree with um, with with New Balance. Because one of these, one of the number one, one, number, one of the number one methods of eviscerating the middle class and the working class has been outsourcing and globalization and exposing the, the labor here in America to the full forces of globalized labor. I mean, how can someone who needs in America, who needs like $28,000 a year just to be in, at the poverty line, compete with someone in Southeast Asia who needs, I don't know, $500 a year? You simply can't, right? So to that extent and to that extent only, I'm actually in agreement with New Balance that the death of the TPP is actually a good thing for American labor. And President Obama was not hearing them. But something happens when you, uh, my, my, my grandmother used to say, you lay down with fleas, you, you lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas. Um, so there's Donald Trump who is now president-elect Trump, who opposes the TPP. I don't think he sincerely opposes it. I think it's going to go through. Even if it's going through with his signature, it's going to go through. But he ostensibly opposes it. And so the team at New Balance, or the, own, the president and CEO of New Balance, came out uh, you know, congratulating Donald Trump, saying that they would work with them and that they were glad that, they, that he was listening to them with regard to the TPP. The problem with Donald Trump is he may not himself be a racist, but he's number one with racists, with sexists, with misogynists, with homophobes, with xenophobes. He's number one with all of the dredges of society, all the dregs of society. He is number one. And so as soon as New Balance came out and said that uh, that they support uh, President Trump, of course, on the uh, on the left, people start burning their shoes like uh, they were, you know, they were completely against him. New Balance because New Balance was in favor of Donald Trump. The irony of it is, is that they're against New Balance for the wrong reason, except for the fact that they said Donald Trump. Most people on the left would probably agree that the TPP needed to die. But it makes sense for people to burn their shoes, not really, but I understand them burning their shoes when you consider all of the baggage that comes with Donald Trump. Because no sooner as New Balance said it, here comes uh, a site called, what, the Daily Stormer? I forget. Here, I have it open. I probably have all kind of spyware and malware from these uh, neo-Nazis. The Daily Stormer.com. Daily Stormer.com. It is a neo-Nazi site. They call themselves a Republican in action site, America's number one most trusted Republican news source. Matter of fact, I'll put this crap on your screen so that you can see it for yourself. And let's take a look at it. <clears throat> this is DailyStormer.com. America's number one. Oh, you're not even seeing it. Hold on. <laughs> there it is. America's number one most trusted Republican news source. First in facts, first in integrity. And if you scroll down, you see it, it's just full of all sorts of neo-Nazi sympathizing, straight neo-Nazi fascism. It is, it is ridiculous. Um, so <laughs> the funny part of the story is New Balance heard of this endorsement. 
and they had to quickly come out with a statement. And I want to share the statement on your screen. This is a statement. New Balance does not tolerate bigotry or hate in any form. One of our officials uh, was recently asked to comment on a trade policy that was taken out of context. As a 110-year-old company with five factories in the U.S. and thousands of employees worldwide from all races, genders, cultures, and sexual orientations, New Balance is a values-driven organization and culture that believes in humanity, integrity, community, and mutual respect for people around the world. We have been and always will be committed to manufacturing in the United States. So here's go. Here it is. Trump wins. New Balance feels like they won because he opposes the TPP. They make a statement. Here comes the neo-Nazis saying that New Balance is the official shoe of white America. New Balance says, hold on, hold on. We're not bigots. We don't support bigotry. We're not going to condemn neo-Nazis. We're not going to condemn white supremacy. We're not going to condemn all these things that storm, Stormfront, not Stormfront, Daily Storm or whatever the hell they are called. They, we're not going to condemn them. We're just going to say, oh, you know, we're good people. All right. This is what happens when you lay down with Nazis. When you lay down with Nazis, here they go, right back to their site. Um, New Balance may be disowning the Nazis, but the Nazis are not going to let you go, New Balance. You are officially... Whether you want to be or not, you are the official shoe of white supremacy because they love you and they need you because nobody else loves them. And they found you and you found them. And it's a love match made in Nazi heaven. And no matter how hard you try New Balance, they're not going to let you get away because they think that you were hacked when you tweeted out that picture. Here it is right here on your screen. New Balance Twitter hacked. Daily Stormer denouncement a hoax. And here it is. Well, this is the first sentence. Quote, well, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> New Balance's Twitter account has been hacked by, I won't even say this word. You can see it on the screen. And they've denounced our Republican agenda. I don't know why I do racist with a Southern accent. I'm just, I have a Southern accent either. Anyway, uh, they they probably are somewhere in, you know, Wisconsin, <laughs> for all I know. <laughs> but the point is, um, New Balance, your denouncement didn't work. You're going to need to try it again. And this time, my suggestion is, when you come out, say, um, we hate neo-Nazis. And we condemn DailyStormer.com. And we condemn the alt-right. And we condemn white supremacy. And anyone affiliated with that should also condemn it. Donald Trump should condemn it. And we only like Donald Trump, or I won't make you say that, but say we like Donald Trump because he opposes the TPP, and that's it. You got to be a little more forceful. It's like, it's like a stalker. It's like a really bad relationship where somebody just is not, the Nazis aren't getting it, New Balance. They're not getting it. They're not getting it. You have to be explicitly clear that I'm just not that into you. It was a one night thing. You took it the wrong way, Nazis. You, you mistook my affection for him to be affection for you, and I'm just not that into you. You gotta be really clear about that. 